Awareness isn't really being the watcher, and it's not really being the witness. Both of those are things that egos do. And egos can get, you know, more or less skilled at being the witness or being the watcher, or being more or less present. All that stuff is, are things that ego may or may not become good at if it really tries hard. But none of that is really what I'm talking about. Resting as awareness isn't, su isn't a state of doing, it's a state of being. You can't really do resting as awareness. If your mind would say, okay, that sounds nice, what do I do? What do you do? Awareness is already present. How do you rest as awareness? What do you what do you do you do something to rest as awareness? Is is doing something even relevant? You see, resting in awareness is a state of being, not a state of doing. And so you also sort of surrender or relinquish the doer. That thing inside of you that's made up in your mind that's always trying to get something right, understand it, do it correctly, wants to know how do I do this, how do I do that, how do I perfect this, how do I... That's the doer. Right? And the doer is always asking questions, mostly questions like, how do I do that? Right? Well, the way you do resting as awareness is you relinquish the doer. You know, pat it on the head. You know, let it know that it's it's. Uh, what can you say? It's irrelevant. <laughs> Don't whisper it though. It doesn't like to hear that. And just rest. So, in order to rest, it's a letting go. And probably more accurately, it's a state of letting be. Because awareness, consciousness is letting be everything about right now. Your mind may or may not let be in the position of letting everything be right now. Your mind may be trying to make certain things happen or make other things not happen anymore. So your mind may not be letting everything be. In fact, most people's minds does not let very much be for very long. So letting, so in order to just rest as awareness, there's relinquishing the sort of the neurotic need to understand and it's also letting go of the neurotic need to do. There's a time for understanding certainly and there's a time for doing certainly. But in terms of what I'm speaking of, those are the first two things that just need to be relinquished. Right? Doing and the need to understand, the desire to understand. And then there can be a resting. Now when most people begin to rest, relax, acknowledge that this thing we're calling awareness or consciousness is fully present and functional. It's, for most people it's becomes difficult to rest for more than a few moments because their mind keeps trying to entice them. Like, you know, like a seductor or a seductress. Like, no, 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 see, if you really just understood this one last thing, you see, then it would be, you would rest so much easier. You really would, I promise. Just think about this one thing. Have you noticed that? Just think about this one thing. Solve this one thought, and then it'll be so much easier to rest as awareness. Isn't that what thought is often doing? It says, well, you did a nice job of resting for five seconds. But that was nice, but you see, I have, there's this, it could be so much better. 
if you could just understand this or understand that or ask how do I, what do I do with it and how do I do it and how do I incorporate it into my life and how do I, you see what I mean? It's very, it's a very, in one sense it's obvious but it's also very subtle. The, the, that movement of mind that's always trying to understand, trying to do, 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 do. But you don't do awareness. That's why the first word I use is rest. Rest as awareness. Because see, resting as awareness immediately gets your involvement out of the egoic mind state. It's not like you have to work a long time to get yourself out of the egoic mind state. Any instant you're resting as awareness, you can't do that as long as you're involved in the egoic mind state. In should, in shouldn't, in the neurotic desire to grasp everything conceptually, on and on and on and on, all the things that the egoic mind does. You can't actually rest as awareness for even a split instant and at the same time be in the egoic mind state. So as soon as you rest, automatically, you're not, in that, in that moment, you're not, um, you're not dominated, you're not caught in the egoic mind state. Now, as I often tell people, you know, if you did this one simple thing with any um, consistency, that would be amazing. If you could do this one simple thing with any kind of consistency, any real consistency, by that I don't mean necessarily you sustain it for a long, 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 long time. That's not what I mean by consistency. I mean just not being lured into the mind trying to figure everything out, spiritually speaking. Because the hardest thing to do is to stay with one simple thing with any kind of consistency. It's, not, it's easy to stay with something very complex. You know, I could give a very complex, complicated, intricate, possibly inter interesting, maybe even entertaining spiritual teaching and you could stay with that with such, such consistency. You could think about it for days or weeks. Or you may even be able to think about it for months. And you'd be very, you might be, if you were captured by it, you could be very consistent about it. You know? But to give anybody something extraordinarily simple, here's the teaching. Rest, here's the teaching and the method. Rest as awareness it's a little more difficult to have any consistency with that. Because, why? Because there's nothing for the egoic mind to do. And it gets a little uh, nervous when there's not much for it to do. Does it not? It gets a little unsettled. But nonetheless, that's the, uh, that's the core. That's the core teaching, and if you want to call it a technique, that's the core technique. That's it. Now, as you, if you actually, if resting as awareness actually happens, if it really starts to happen for you, then it's, at some point it will dawn on you that you and awareness are not two different things. That you aren't actually somebody who's resting as awareness. That that was actually kind of a, a notion, an idea, an idea of you. That actually Awareness is much more what you are than all the ideas that you ever had about yourself in your life.